Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, May the 28th. It's the seventh Sunday of Easter and week six in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 66, prays for God's goodness towards Israel. And Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 16 to 27, Ezekiel is silenced and isolated. And now please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips. My mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Hallelujah, Psalm 66. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Sing forth the honor of God's praise. Make God's praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit to you. All the earth shall worship you and shall sing to you. They shall sing to your name. Come and see the works of God. God is awesome toward the people of the earth. God turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. And there we rejoiced in our God. God's might rules forever. God's eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of God's praise heard, which holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction upon our backs. You caused enemies to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay to you my vows, which my lips have uttered, and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams, and I will offer bullocks with goats. Come here, all you that fear God, and I will declare what God has done for my life. I cried to you, God, with my mouth, and you were extolled by my tongue. If I have evil in my heart, you will not hear me. But truthfully, you have heard me. You have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed are you which have not turned away my prayer, nor taken your mercy from me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 3, beginning at verse 16. At the end of seven days, the word of Yahweh came to me. Mortal, I have made you a sentinel for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give them no warning, or speak to warn the wicked from their wicked ways in order to save their life, those wicked persons shall die for their iniquity, but their blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked and they do not turn from their wickedness or from their wicked way, they shall die for their iniquity, but you will have saved your life. Again, if the righteous turn from their righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before them, they shall die, because you have not warned them. They shall die for their sin, and their righteous deeds that they have done shall not be remembered. But their blood I will require at your hand. 
If, however, you warn the righteous not to sin, and they do not sin, they shall surely live, because they took warning, and you will have saved your life. And then the hand of the Most High was upon me there, and he said to me, Rise, go out into the valley, and there I will speak to you. So I rose and went out into the valley, and the glory of Yahweh stood there, like the glory that I had seen by the river of Chebar. And I fell on my face. And the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet, and he spoke with me and said to me, Go shut yourself inside your house. As for you, mortal cords shall be placed on you, and you shall be bound with them, so that you cannot go out among the people. And I will make your tongue cling to the roof of your mouth, so that you shall be speechless and unable to reprove them, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with you, I will open your mouth, and you shall say to them, Thus says Yahweh God, Let those who will hear, hear. Let those who refuse to hear, refuse, for they are a rebellious house. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways, keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, give thanks to God who has made us to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has brought us into the kingdom of Christ. In Christ we have redemption, and through Christ's blood the forgiveness of sins. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by Christ were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, or principalities or powers, all things were created by Christ and for Christ. And Christ is before all things, and by Christ all things exist. And Christ is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead that in all things Christ might have preeminence. For it pleased God that in Christ should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of the cross, to reconcile all things to God by Christ, things in heaven and things in earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> 